Audrey and this video is going to be a haul video. If you've been following my channel then you probably know that I spent two weeks in Europe with my husband and my friend Francesca. Well, only one week with Francesca and the other week with my husband. We actually had some work to do out there and we were also celebrating our two year anniversary because we've been married for two years. Yeah, we bought quite a few things while we were out there, so I figured that I would just share that with you, put together a haul video, so let's just get into it. So I just think I'm going to go in order of what I bought. So I'm gonna start with the things that I bought in London. Um, I actually think I bought the most things in London. So the first few things are going to be thrifted items. I think I got these from the vintage market in Shoreditch and then there was also another little shop that I went to I believe it was called beyond retro the first thing that I want to show you guys are these rings I always get a lot of questions about where I buy my rings whenever I travel I just try to buy some rings just because I don't know just to remember the trip by and I got these two and I just love them so much one is a thunderbolt which I thought was kind of appropriate since my middle name is storm and it's a little thunderbolt or lightning bolt, lightning bolt, it's a lightning bolt. So I thought that one was pretty awesome. I'm gonna use it as the thumb ring. And then the other one that I got is a moon and stars ring. I don't know, they're just really dainty, um, pretty simple, but still special, I felt like. Um, I don't know the price of these off the top of my head, so I think I'll put the price in the description or somewhere in the video, but those are the first few things that I got. The next thing I got was a scarf, and I thought it was pretty unique because it's velvet, but it's also sheer at the same time, um, and it's kind of an animal print. It's kind of the ones that you kind of just like put over your neck like that. I don't know, I just thought it was really cool. It totally clashes with my outfit right now, um, but I wore it while we were over there um, just because it was a little bit chillier. I thought that it would just make a very cute fall staple when the weather decides to get cooler here in California. The next thing I got was a leopard print belt, um, and I just felt like I needed one. I like to cinch my waist in with a belt just because I don't really have that many curves going on um, and I thought this one was really fun um, the buckle is black and silver and I feel like a lot of the times with leopard things uh, the hardware is always gold um, so just the fact this is, that this is black and silver I really liked it this one actually still has a tag on it because I didn't wear it and it was 10 pounds Next thing I got has a lot of animal hair on it at this point, but it is just kind of a velvet hat that I wore when I was in Paris. I actually have one of these in like a dark forest green that I got from Forever 21 a long time ago. So when I saw this, I felt like I wanted it in black as well. I'm pretty sure it was like $5 or something like that. I don't know, I just feel like I'm gonna wear this a lot when the weather gets cooler. The next couple things are all from the same place. They're all from Abbey Road Studios. If you watched my London vlog, then you know that I went over there and I got a bunch of stuff that was just Beatles related. I don't know if I've ever talked about this on my channel before, but when I was in school, I took a class on the Beatles. I got an A in it. It was surprisingly hard. It was a lot about the history of the Beatles and the meanings behind their songs um, and just how revolutionary they were with their music at the time. So I'm just a huge fan. So it was really cool to go to the studio area to shop in the shop. And so we got a lot of stuff. The first thing that we got is actually a card, but I figured that I would use it as a print to kind of hang in my room or by my desk. I'm not really sure where I'm gonna put it yet, but it just has the Abbey Road album cover on it. Um, and we actually walked Abbey Road, very surprisingly busy street, so I didn't get a picture of it, but I think we got some video footage of us crossing it. I'm gonna probably put this on my desk or maybe in my bullet journal or my travel journal or something like that. So that's one thing. What else is in here? something that my husband got. Um, it's just a lanyard that has Abbey Road Studios on it. He usually uses these types of things so he can hold his keys so he doesn't lose them. So this is what he got. I think this has the price on it. This one was eight pounds. My husband and I like to collect pins to pin on our denim jackets or I think he has a backpack that he likes to put his pins on. So I got one that is red and it just says Abbey Road Studios on it. I'm probably gonna put this on my denim jacket. And my husband got a set of four and his just say 
All You Need Is Love, Whisper Words of Wisdom, Come Together, and Abbey Road Studios. The last thing I got in London was a sticker for my little sister. Um, she actually collects stickers from all over the world. Whenever my family travels, um, she likes to get a sticker for her luggage. She asked me to get one for her, so I got her this one. Um, she doesn't know what it looks like yet, so she's probably watching this, so this is what it looks like. Hope you like it. <laughs> So this next purchase is not mine, it's actually my husband's, but he got it at the thrift store. It's just a gray leather jacket. Um, he doesn't have one, so he was really excited to get this one, especially because he got it for 15 pounds, um, which I think is a really good deal. He wore it all over Europe when we are there, and it's really comfortable, and he just wanted me to share that with you. <laughs> You said you said that you did. I know, I like it. <laughs> okay, good. I need to show it off somehow. <laughs> okay, so moving on to Paris. I only got one thing in Paris, I guess. I didn't really think about it until I'm looking at it right now. What I got from Paris was this jacket. I got it at this thrift store that I actually found when we went to Paris two years ago. I think it's called Free P Star. I think I see this store a lot on YouTube whenever people are thrifting in Paris, but I went back there and found this jacket. I actually needed a black jacket when I was out there because I totally forgot to buy one. It's like a synthetic fur, so it's faux. It's not real fur or anything like that, but it was really comfortable. It kept me warm all throughout our Euro trip. I'm actually really bummed about the fact that it's 90 degrees in California right now. I can't wait to wear this again because I just felt like it was matching everything that I had, so. $10 or 10 euros, 10, 10 euros. <laughs> so on our Bruges trip, we actually didn't focus on getting anything but food. Um, I brought some chocolate home, but that is eaten. That's, that's already gone. <laughs> Probably the best chocolate that I've ever had in my life, but I did get one memento from Bruges and it's this postcard. I figured like the Abbey Road studio print that I got that I would just kind of put this on my desk. This postcard kind of just shows these really scenic and beautiful parts of Bruges. It was such a fairy tale place. Um, we had a lot of fun there. It was really romantic, very peaceful, and so that's really all we focused on, but I'm glad that I have something to remember it by. For Amsterdam, I picked up a notebook from the museum market. When we were walking around our first day, we kind of just came across a market. Um, over by the museum and there were a lot of really really interesting things there. We happened upon this lady that was actually making notebooks out of old vinyl records. So this one has the vinyl record as the cover and then on the back it has the album cover and I talked about it in my vlog already but it has two songs that are just really important to me. Whatever will be will be. My dad used to sing that to me when I was little. I know that sounds kind of weird. My dad was the one singing that song, but hey. And another song on this album is When I Fall in Love, and that is my parents' song. They always sing that duet together just just because my, my family is actually really musical, and I'm probably going to put all of our tickets and just all the little mementos in this book, um, kind of like how I put it together in my bullet journal video, if you haven't seen that yet. I don't know, it's just probably one of my favorite things just because it means a lot to me, so happy. <laughs> the last thing is Stroop waffles. Just a little bit of a story. Raleigh and I love Stroop waffles. Um, whenever we see them, we want to eat them just because they're so, so delicious. That was something that we really wanted to try when we were in Amsterdam. And when we were at the museum market, we found this little, what would you call that? Like a little hut? Uh, it was like a table. But yeah, there was a little table where I think it was a family. They were just making it over by the market. Um, they were making the caramel on the stove and he was just making the waffles right out there. I um, mean, they were huge. They were like the size of my face or bigger. I feel like bigger, bigger, right? Oh, yeah. so much bigger. <laughs> so much bigger. The Stroop waffles were so good. They actually made me cry. <laughs> I don't know. I just got really emotional for some reason and I started crying while I was eating my Stroopwafel. I'm pretty sure a lot of people thought I was really weird. <laughs> but the family was also selling um, some Stroopwafels to go. Um, these are a lot smaller than the ones that we got. Let me see if I can open it. 
Obviously, Raleigh and I have eaten most of them, but I was very, very happy to have a Stroopwafel and will probably eat the rest of these really soon. And I think that is it. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I bought on my trip. If you guys like this video, let me know in the comments down below or you can like it if you want. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.